saw in the last video, I sorted out the regulator and why it was leaking. So, uh, filled the raft to 200 bar, got 46 pallets left. So, uh, we'll see what uh, kind of uh, groups we get in there and uh, what kind of power. I can adjust it on the fly as well. So, I'll fire 10 shots and see. Uh, See what the results are. Is the air arms sixteen grains? Okay then, obviously needs to turn it up. So I've got an average of 8.6, high of 8.8, .8, low of 8, with a standard deviation of 0 0.2. Put that to feet per second. That gives us an average of 491, high of 496, a low of 473, spread of 23, standard deviation 6.7. So what I'll do now, take the cheap piece off, adjust the armor spring upwards, or rewind it. It's anti-clockwise I think to put power on this one. So uh, give it a couple of turns and see what we're at on the next turn. Test two.
hoping that the uh, natural thing's turning. I mean. take the ammo out just to make sure it's still freely moving. <coughs> Some sure adjustment on this is uh, done by going anti-clockwise instead of clockwise like move. slightly but uh, we're going to have to take it to bits and we'll see what we'll get then. Alright, I took the rifle apart, it does move, but uh, we'll see. see what it is now, and then I can adjust it. I mean, it could be the uh, the red one's turning up a bit.
Yep. Definitely going in the right direction. Okay, so I still need to loosen that off a bit because the uh, trigger's too light. So uh, I think what I need to do is actually uh, either take the uh, some of the tension off the valve spring or open the regulator up a bit. And that over the last few videos it's all about balancing out the uh, the valve spring and the, uh, the regulator yeah. give it that one full turn so the last one we want is a light trigger that goes off on its own What I'm going to do, I'm going to fire a full string of 10 shots, see what it is, and we'll come back to it another day. Yeah, so uh, it's in a good position now. The, uh, the trigger's safe. So the regulator is not doing too bad. Just not got the power there yet. So like I say, the only way I can just that now, because the hammer springs more or less maxed out. So it's either adjusting the uh, valve tension or increasing the regulator pressure. And if I increase the regulator pressure by say 10 bar, that might get us to around 11. So uh, I'll do that tomorrow. I've got more things to do now. So that's it for now, first part of the test. And as you can tell over some of my videos, it's not just a matter of sticking a regulator in. Uh, there's more to it than that. Uh, and it takes time and probably a tin of pellets also. 
So that's it. We'll see you in the next video.